Yes, if it is true, as it is voiced, that Bali is the island of the gods, then it is to them, we owe a miracle that took place uh, last December in that island. Nothing short of a miracle can have convinced everyone there that the UN scientists were right. And yes, climate change is anthropogenic in its nature, meaning that it is essentially caused by human interference. A miracle if we can now agree that the dramatic diagnosis concerning the danger at which humanity finds itself is global, and it also seems miraculous that this uh, Bali conference was not just attended by the Kyoto Club members, but by most world nations, including many emerging and economically backward ones. Let's get one thing straight ahead. Catastrophes are catastrophic only for human beings. Seeing as the Earth, unlike us, carries with it as many as five billion years of nat natural catastrophes. Our pretty blue planet will continue along its path through the universe with or without us. It will survive with or without Homo sapiens sapiens. And his wonderful inventions, such as art, science, technology, with or without this special creature that invented music, philosophy, and discovered X-rays and vaccines, with or without the same humanity that created morality, but also war. That humanity that has created history, a history that describes how humanity slowly and gradually at first and then with a rocket-like increase in momentum has managed to exponentially increase its population and its productive power. On one hand, it is true that technology has already proven many catastrophic predictions wrong. In the past, for example, we thought demographic growth was going to throw us back in the dark ages. But the increase of agricultural productivity managed instead to solve the problem. Too bad that this same technological solution is co-responsible for the current env environmental pressure. And it is probably creating the next brand new problems. And artists and designers come up with tangible solutions for this new sustainable dream, providing it with shapes, colors, tastes, and smells. As you can see, I don't have a specific recipe, if not to say that we must exploit all those driving forces particular to our various cultures that can help us to provide economy with a purpose and a meaning that goes beyond the mere increase of financial growth and market commodities. An economy that has to revise its pattern of wealth and people's lifestyles. An economy with a balanced material growth on one hand and a dynamic state of cultural development on the other. The development of science and art, of intelligence and aesthetics. A culture that doesn't ask us to do without material goods, we really need, but replaces superfluous stuff linked to our actual de deviant consumerist attitudes with other goods of intangible and yet priceless worth. Allow me to say that sport, the theme that the fair that hosts this conference represents, is a very, very powerful playground where one may take the first steps in designing this new picture of happiness. After all, sport can teach us a great deal. It can, for example, be seen as a tool for peace and transnational dialogue. Let me make some examples. 
This sector includes, uh, for instance, uh, the hiker, who envisages the natural, untouched environment as an essential part uh, of his uh, or her sports activity. But also the skier, who swoops down pistes uh, built on level, deforested land, possibly covered in artificial snow, surrounded by major du touristic duelings, shopping centers, discotheques, casinos, etc. Or even pistes uh, that have been artificially built in the middle of the desert, as the Sky Dubai, Ski Dubai development did. The fact is that over the last decades, the culture of sport has moved away quite considerably from the culture that helps the body to find the free and readily available relationship with nature to the just do it myth, which has been affecting the last decades of our mass sports culture. And this is a motto that needs to be reconsidered. The sports culture, the Olympian ideal, is seriously endangered today. And it should come as no surprise if these events are then targeted as stages for vandalistic behavior and mass hysteria, as that is exactly how they are marketed. I'm not judging. On the contrary, I think that the widespread introduction of extreme, cutting-edge, dangerous, surreal sports that has sprung up during the last decade also carry an important message because, paradoxically, they also can be interpreted as a way, albeit clearly disturbed, of finding, finding some sort of new and real meaning at a time when meaning seems to have gone out of the window. Understanding the alarming message uh, that sport today is shouting out at us tells us that it is time to design a sustainable and desirable alternative for a future that is already upon us. Design, eco-design, could take this stake uh, from sports and use it uh, for designing a better living for the many. That means uh, a true relationship with nature, a passionate and peaceful game among people, a new ecology of mind and body. Let me conclude saying that today, the last act of consumption, Odyssey, has begun. Odysseus returned to Ithaca, and like Odysseus, after so many illusions, disappointments, and fleeting seductions, also people, after having almost drowned in the sea of unsustainable consumption and consumerism, they are now longing for their home land, a home planet, where their real individual and collective fulfillment has a place and a time. People are calling for tangible and non-tangible objects that don't simply stand out for their form follows function benefit, or their form follows fiction, ephemeral trendiness. They call also for objects that also embody a strong cultural message. That means a message of an ecology of beauty and ethics, which can reconcile them with the future that they thought they had lost. Form follows sense is design next paradigmatic banner that could shape a new ideal of happiness and lead our ship of post postmodern societies towards new islands of meaningfulness and prosperity thank you thank you very much thank you